All right, tonight for dinner, we are making vodka pasta. So you'll need onion, garlic, olive oil, tomato paste, um, and heavy whipping cream, and then vodka for the sauce. Um, this is potato vodka, so it's gluten-free. Um, I'll explain that in a second. And then obviously we're using gluten-free pasta. So I have my pan warming up and then my pasta water. All right, so our vodka looks funny. Um, you can tell it's been in a freezer. I only use vodka to make our homemade um, vanilla extract. And so I don't use it very often. I don't use a whole lot of it. Um, we bought this, I don't know, we bought it when we moved here. Um, obviously it's Kirkland, it's the um, Costco brand and it's huge. Potato vodka or rice vodka, anything but regular vodka, which is made with wheat, is expensive. Um, so if you can find it um, in bulk, I, we are also having this cauliflower breadsticks. Um, they're really good. They some are really really salty, so you might have to scrape some of the like garlicky All salt. Right, and then I'm just cooking the sticks in the air fryer, air fryer oven. I'm just gonna bake them in the oven here. In my skillet over medium high heat, I am going to saute one onion to our liking. We like it a little bit more of a bite to it. If you don't like it, that way you can cook it all the way translucent. It's however you like. It does look like a lot of onions, but it doesn't turn into that much. So when your onions are ready, you're going to add either your tomato sauce, or I like cooking it with tomato paste it, and a little bit of water. It just gives it more of a, like, I want to say natural tomato flavor, but that sounds off. I just like the flavor better with the tomato paste than with the tomato sauce. So here I am just mixing it all in, smooshing the tomato paste into the onion. Once that is all combined, I'm adding three tablespoons of vodka to my pan so I can cook out the alcohol. If it doesn't give me enough liquid like I want, I do um, either add some more vodka or some more water. I chose to add a little bit more water to this time. If you don't like the flavor of vodka, you can't even taste it coming through. I did lose the footage of me adding the heavy whipping cream to it. I'm also adding some seasoning and then here I am taking the pasta directly from the water so you can see I'm getting some of the water in with it and that helps thin it out and then you're just going to stir it all together combined in the pan. Once it's all combined into your liking you are all done. Once it's all combined, I just add a little bit of parsley on top. All right, so here, here's what my plate looks like. I have some pasta, cheese on top, and then a side salad with romaine, cucumbers, sunflower seeds, Kobe Jack, and ranch. And then I get a lot of questions on what Harry eats because he's extremely picky. I give him everything we're having. I know he won't eat lettuce, but he likes sunflower seeds and he likes cucumbers, and he normally likes pasta. He won't eat the bread, and he might eat the cheese, so, but... I always offer him everything that we're eating. And then my breadstick too. Welcome to Tuesday. Uh, we do what we call Mexican Tuesday. So you have some sort of like taco or something to it. Tonight I am making taco meatloaf. So to my two pounds of ground beef, I am adding my taco seasoning, my onion flakes, some oregano, that's onion powder, I'm sorry, garlic powder, a cumin, all of the, I'll have the recipe listed down below so you guys can see it. Um, and then I'm adding a little bit of lemon pepper just to make it a little bit better. There I am showing you guys all of my seasonings. You see my little helper there adding all my mixes in. 
helping with the seasonings and the dumping. Then, weird thing is, is you're going to add some Doritos. I only have the spicy nacho kind today, so that's what I added. It doesn't matter what kind of flavor. You could do plain tortilla chips. This is just what I had in hand. I'm adding half a cup inside. I thought that was weird, but it actually gives it a different texture. And it's not too bad. There is Harry stirring it for us because he's such a helper. And then you add some taco sauce and I only have the Taco Bell sauce. Use what you have on hand. Use what your family likes. Mm -hmm. um, and you do that so that it has some liquid to help bind it like you're going to do with the meatloaf. I had just a little bit left over, so there was trying to get it all. I didn't quite have enough, but that's all right. Then you're going to add my two eggs. Next, you guys will know, if you all have been around, I do not like to touch raw meat at all. I don't even like the sight of raw meat. So here is Adam mixing it all for me and Harry moving the camera for us and then see my tripod in it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna divide the mixture in half you're gonna put half the mixture um, into it, your baking dish and you don't want to cover the sides you don't need to be all the way up against the sides then you're gonna add slices of pepper jack cheese the original recipe did say to use like an eight by eight pan square pan but I didn't I lost mine when we moved out here to Florida. And then after you put your slices of pepper jack cheese, you're going to add this other half of the meat mixture on top. I'm trying to, you want it to cover up all the cheese so that the cheese is like encased inside of the meat. All right. Here's what it looks like after we took it out. Um, all gooey and chewy and yum. All right, let's cut into it. All right, here's my plate with the little side Ooh. salad. And here's Harry's. We'll see what he does with it. He loves um, bell peppers and cucumbers and some flower seeds. So hopefully he'll eat some of this. <sighs> Tonight for dinner, we are having what we classify as cheesy goulash. Pasta's already in. Adam's going to do my ground beef because he can somehow miraculously get it into little bitty little crumbles and I'm gonna make the cheese sauce to my small saute pan I am adding one cup of heavy whipping cream I'm gonna bring it up a little bit to a boil I'm adding some garlic salt and some onion powder That was a little bit of paprika. And then I'm adding uh, Velveeta cheese cubes already cubed up. And you wanna stir it constantly so it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan. It will come together quickly. And then here I'm adding, I'm measuring it for you guys, my shredded cheddar cheese. I just went ahead and used the half a cup that I used to put in the heavy whipping cream no sense in dirty another measuring cup you do want to add your cheese in batches it tends to melt faster and then here I am combining the cheese to the pasta our gluten-free pasta here I'm using rotini because that's my favorite to use when you're making mac and cheese you just want to stir it all together till it's combined then here my meat is all ground and I added a can of corn and I'm just going to combine it with the mac and cheese it is so good we refer to it as cheesy goulash or it could be homemade hamburger helper all right here is my bowl it's not the healthiest but man is it delicious you can also make it with just box, box mac and cheese I've done that numerous times Here's Harry's, I made a faux pas. Harry doesn't eat corn, so he might not eat any of this. We're gonna try right. it. Welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. Tonight we are having 
what we call taco bisquick cups. So in here is my homemade bisquick recipe that Harry's just playing with. Um, I'm gonna add two eggs and a cup of milk to it. Um, I might need two cups of milk depending on how thin the batter is, but let's add more. So here I just added my milk and I'm adding some eggs. Harry is stirring it for me. He keeps trying to grab the egg with his fingers. We switch to the dough hook. Man, I love this thing. I use it all the time. I did have to add a little bit more milk, you see here, because I wanted it a little bit thinner, just so I could pour it easier, make it more of like a thin pancake batter than a muffin batter. Here in my pan, I have one pound of ground beef um, cooked as with just some taco seasoning and a can of pinto beans. And you would just make this like you would make normal tacos. Um, follow your taco seasoning package. Um, follow the directions on your taco seasoning. Bringing it up to a boil. While my meat is simmering on the stove, I'm going to um, line up my liners and add, once the meat mixture is done, I'm going to add a tablespoon of the mixture to each of the muffin cups. I thought I would only be able to get um, about 24, and it turns out I could get a lot more, so I had to move everybody around. And then here I'm just adding a, added a little bit of cheese on top. And now I'm adding a tablespoon of the Bisquick mixture on top. You can use regular Bisquick, um, would work, I'm assuming fine with this, or the store-bought gluten-free Bisquick. I just make my own. If you guys are interested in seeing the recipe, leave a comment down below. All right, here is what it looks like right out of the oven. You can see it our golden brown. And then let me pull one out. All right. All right. See? Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Oh. for dinner we are having spaghetti with meatballs and here I have two pounds of ground beef and two eggs I just use ground beef because I don't eat any other meat besides ground beef Harry is stirring behind me then we're going to add teaspoons I have to be fine Thank you. Um, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of pepper. This is a new recipe that we found that uses potato flakes, like mashed potatoes, instant potatoes. Um, a half a cup. Oh, really? I think I put them in a container, so they're probably in a jar. Um, the recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm putting onion powder because we like onions.
All right, there they are in all their glory. One. We're going to back up. It's open. I'm going to put them in the oven for 30 minutes. We are just making a salad with romaine, English cucumber, and cheese. All right, so here's what they look like out of the oven. Nice and good. And then I'm just taking them and plopping them in my pasta with tomato sauce. Um, we just use a jar of tomato sauce because I have a lot of them on hand. All right, here is my plate, spaghetti meatballs, salad. I had to put dressing on, I have two breadsticks. And then as always, here's Harry's. He loves spaghetti, so he should eat that. He might not eat the meatball. He like everything he likes on this plate except for the meatball, so we shall see.